Hello, and welcome to another edition of One Bad Veggie's Root Beer Review, where in this review we find out if this root beer is as good as it seems or if we're just barking up the wrong tree. And uh, this review this week is going to be for um, Bulldog Root Beer, which um, this one's a re-review, be real honest with you. Don't remember reviewing it in the past. Uh, finding out that it's a re-review re, re is uh, was actually a little surprising because I have no idea. But uh, I actually have a, uh, a spreadsheet where I actually keep track of reviews I've already reviewed on the blog versus that. Anyway, point is, it's a re-review. So let's go ahead and uh, get into the ingredients. So let's go ahead and start with the ingredients, which will appear right there. And... Um, as you can see, I mean, just from the start, two things that strike out to me right away that gets me very excited about drinking this root beer here is um, honey as an ingredient. I mean, it's already got sugar in it, but it's also got honey in it. I always like it when they use honey as a uh, sugar in uh, in root beer. Um, also... Uh, the last little added bit, real vanilla. You know, you always kind of assume that they put some sort of vanilla flavoring in the natural and artificial flavors. Um, but they don't usually, um, they don't usually point to it in the ingredients. It's just usually a part of, part of the flavoring. Um, so clearly this is something that, that they're, they put it on the label for a reason. At least that's what I hope. Um, but let's just go ahead and open it up and see if maybe we can get some of that, the aroma of the honey and the vanilla. That'd be nice. All right, let's go ahead and open her up. Easy open. Hmm. Interesting. I, you know, I can smell a little bit of sweetness, but I don't know if it's just this bottle or what, but I don't really smell like, I'm so used to opening these up and then something just hitting you in the face. Something hitting you in the face. Even root beer. I don't even smell root beer. I just smell a bottle. Maybe I have a cold or something. The one thing I will say is that I do smell, I actually do kind of uh, get the scent of. get the scent of uh, root beer in there and you know what I think I, I do smell a little bit of honey in there too for sure because uh when there's honey in a drink you can definitely smell it it's um it's a real you know it's a different kind of sweet than just sugar so um so yeah so far um so far so good I mean you know, yeah, like I said, usually I'm used to opening up this bottle and whatever kind of the selling point of the of the drink is, that's what usually hits you in the face. Opening up a bottle of maple root beer and you're just maple syrup, you know. Or that last time just opening up that one and just smelling all those, you know, chemicals or whatever. I keep on calling them chemicals. That, that It's not right because it's mostly like vitamins and natural stuff. There wasn't really too much like weird stuff in it so um but okay let's uh go ahead and check the pour and the foam all right let's go ahead and check out this pour mm, not a very frothy root beer in fact you can see the foam is gone, so no reason to go ahead and try to taste the foam to see if there's any any little taste in there and everything. So uh, we can go ahead and skip right to the taste test. Trusty mug, down the hatch, bottoms up, cheers. I don't remember what I say. So, I actually went back and uh, read my original review for this. 
and I had given it a C. And my reasoning for giving it a C was because um, I thought all the flavors that I really enjoy were there. But my problem was, was that the root beer tasted flat. Now, in that review, I mentioned that maybe it's because I had a bad bottle. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say that that's exactly why it was. So this review will be different than um, the original review from the blog. Um, right away, I'll tell you, you can taste the honey. You can taste the vanilla. Um, it's not too overpowering. It's a really sweet, creamy root beer. It kind of hits all the things that I really like. Um, I'm not sure. I'm kind of waiting here to see if maybe it really kind of blows me away. Um, it, it's a weird feeling that I have about this one because it's doing nothing wrong. Um, in fact, it's doing all the things that I like. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and sit with this one for a minute and uh, we'll come back with the letter grade. So I actually really struggled with this one for a second because not for any reason other than the fact that the last time that I graded it, I gave it a C. And again, like I said, the reason was, was because the bottle that I had at the time seemed like it was flat and I wasn't sure. Especially after uh, pouring it and seeing that, you know, there's no foam. I was wondering if that's just part of how this root beer works. Maybe it just is like a little bit of a less fizz, more kind of a flatter root beer. Turns out that's not the case. In the old review, I talked about how it lacked bite. This definitely has a good bite to it. It's definitely nice and carbonated, even though you don't get a big foam out of it or anything like that. It's still, you know, carbonated well. Whatever flatness I was talking about in the old review is completely gone, um, which was literally my own complaint. The In the review, I stated I was having a hard time deciding whether this was a C or if it was an A because the flavors were all there that I enjoy, but the texture was weird. And uh, since that is no longer the case, since I've gotten a normal, uh, I guess you would say normal bottle bulldog rip beer um i can't not give it an a it's it's very good it's very good especially uh to my palate which is like i said i like a sweet vanilla creamy root beer um y you know uh, i'm a little <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit surprised by it and everything because this is gone from a root beer that, like I said, I don't even remember drinking to being one of the few root beers that I would give an A, but it, it's absolutely delicious. So uh, if you can find yourself a bottle of Bulldog root beer, I wholly recommend it. It's fantastic. So yeah, A. And that's it for this review. If you uh, like the review, you can go ahead and subscribe or like the video or do whatever you want um it's uh i like i said i'm uh, I was pretty surprised by this one um especially considering it was a re-review i uh i didn't expect to like it as much as i did anyway um uh, my work schedule is kind of the same as it has been so still not a whole lot other than rip reviews coming out at the moment, um, I still plan on doing the uh, perfect grade unicorn at some point in the near future. I'm kind of working myself up to it because it's my first perfect grade. So, but other than that, um, I hope you had a good time. <laughs>